Okay, Module 4, Skills Test, and in this case we're going to be looking at a mediogram. And a mediogram is just a way of representing uh, observations, weather observations at a particular station uh, versus time. So over time you can see how different things are changing. Uh, and this is what we'll be studying today is an observational mediogram. There are also model mediograms which uh, show the expected changes in the future. Uh, so it, it still is a timeline thing, but instead of looking at the past, you'd be looking at the future in those model mediograms. But this is an observational one, and the one we'll be focusing, focusing on is out of Tupelo. Uh, this was in the spring of 2014. And I just wanted to draw your attention to uh, some of the basic features. First of all, down at the bottom of the mediogram, you'll see the, the time uh, that this mediogram covers. So this one covers uh, from about 12Z on April the 13th to 12Z on April the 14th, and you'll actually see those times broken down. So it gives you the day as well as the hour in in universal time. So that's 15Z, 18Z, 21Z, 0Z, 3Z, etc. Uh, along the bottom, those little tick marks, which then correspond with the time through all three graphs. Now let's go back up into the graph and. Uh, analyze what we are seeing, what are the different uh, parameters that are featured. Notice that in the first graph there are actually three lines. There's a purple line, there's a black line, and there's a green line. The purple line indicates the temperature in Fahrenheit as time goes on. And you can see the scale, it's followed on the left side here. So these are your temperatures. Uh, the green line is the dew point in Fahrenheit. And again, you'll we'll look at the scale on the left side. Over on the right side, that's your relative humidity. And again, that's the scale that goes along with the relative humidity, and that's the black line. Along the bottom here, you'll see the actual hourly temperatures recorded. Remember, these are three hours uh, between tick marks. And so therefore, we're seeing three observations uh, of the temperature along this line. The next line in green, this WSVM, that's a obstructions to visibility, and that would include precipitation. So we can tell that there's not a whole lot going on, but then we do notice there is some precipitation uh, late in the mediogram. You see down here we have uh, the sky cover, SKY, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, SKYK, uh, sky cover. Again, we've seen this before in the station model skills test. So you know how to read this. You know how the, the middle indicates sky cover, and then the wind barb indicates not only the wind direction, but also the wind speed. When the winds get up uh, above uh, 15 knots or so, you'll get some gusts, and uh, the gust is reported up here in the gust line. Moving down into the second graph, this graph has to do with horizontal visibility as well as sky cover, vertical sky cover. And so We'll start over on the visibility side of things. Notice uh, VSBY. Again, this is the scale. This is the number of uh, statute miles of visibility. And that is plotted over time. So horizontally, if there's any uh, obstructions to visibility, that would show up in this visibility line. So for the most part, you have a very large visibility for most of this, but then we do see a, a drop in the visibility. And you'll have to figure out why. On the left scale, you'll notice these are the uh, uh, cloud cover, essentially, at different levels of the atmosphere. And you'll see B's and O's and S's, uh, as well as some C's in here. The B stands for broken. The S stands for scattered. The dash with the S is lightly scattered. You'll see O's that stand for overcast. And you'll see some C's, that stands for clear. And the location of these different letters indicates the uh, height of the cloud cover. So at a particular hour you can get a feel for whether it was scattered cloud cover and where that lo where the, those clouds were um, or whether it was clear. So that's the second chart. As we go down below you'll see a, a line that says T6XF. This stands for the maximum temperature in Fahrenheit over the previous six hours. So these are only reported in kind of six-hour increments. And this, again, is the maximum temperature that was read during the six hours previous to that reading. Likewise, the next line is the minimum temperature 
recorded in the six hours previous to this time. And then the PO6, uh, that is the amount of precipitation recorded in the previous six hours. And then finally the last graph indicates the mean sea level, I'm sorry, the, the, yeah, the sea level pressure uh, and trends in the sea level pressure. So you can see as time goes on, pressure is changing and the mediogram indicates those changes. So now that you know how to decode the mediogram, this will help you in answering the questions below.